Welcome back to the final day of the 2018 J22 Worlds, presented by Sheehy Lexus of Annapolis. Boats are headed out to the race course for the last few races with a bit more insight into the conditions and the boat, thanks to the midweek party and debrief sponsored by New England Ropes last night at the Annapolis Yacht Club. The leaders of the regatta and individual race winners shared their strategies and answered questions in hopes of raising everyone's skills to the highest level. It first all starts with the rig tune, which uh, we're lucky enough to have Joanne Fisher, who is a world champion in the J22, doing our rig, setting the uppers so that they're they're going slack when you trim the main end. And in a day like today, they were, they were pretty loose. Hi, I'm Ashley Love from T2P TV, and we have Zeke Horowitz and Mike Marshall trying to chase down our regatta leader, Alan Terhune. So let's get to the races. The start of race seven is near and already that midline boat can't see its two pin ends. 15 seconds to go. General recall, let's try that one again everybody. The second attempt is going to be a U flag, which means anyone over under a minute is going to be out of this race. There may have been some evil doers down here at the pin. Off the line, we have Kevin Doyle, J.R. Maxwell, and bow 51, Robert Mac Martinson from the Annapolis Yacht Club leading the charge on the left-hand side. It's a long list of people who got UFD'd on that flight. They are out of this race, including our regatta leader, Alan Terhune, bow 07. He's gonna have to bring back that 18 drop into his score. Almost to the first top mark, and our class leader so far is Chris Wenches from New Orleans. The left side's coming in strong though. Don't count out Craig Smith and team from Minneapolis. Chris Winches is now in third, bow 49, sneaking it in at the mark. Corner of Sanity and Madness, Chris Junge. With Alan Terhune taking a U flag, all Zeke Horowitz in 1586 Blue Kite needs to do is finish top eight, and he is doing that so far to take the lead. Unlike previous days, there's no de clear defined winner going downwind. A whole pack is in the hunt for first. Chris Junge from the Annapolis, or from the Eastport Yacht Club, rounds the right hand gate looking upwind. The rest of the fleet choosing the left. Second upwind and not a single soul is risking the right. Keeping the scoreboard guessing, third has moved into first. Travis Odenbach in the gray hall back in the mix, but our class leader here, Chris Wenches with Macho Slavich and David Bolliard set in first. Zeke Horowitz with tactician Jackson Benvenuti rounding in second. That is definitely lower than eighth place. They could be looking at lead overall.
And with that, Chris Wenches from New Orleans will take his second bullet of the regatta, the first team to do so this year. And with a second place, Zeke Horowitz will move into first place overall for the regatta by seven points. Start of race number seven, and Corey Sertle is down here at the pin trying to win the left-hand side. It's going to be tight. General recall, general recall. They're gonna go to a U flag for the second try. The dreaded red and white checker flag has just been removed. Anyone who touches that line and goes over, it's gonna be another victim. Twelve seconds to go and everyone is still being quite behaved. Sail number 677 is Brad Julian from the Annapolis Yacht Club taking the pin. A little righty off the start, but the pressure is building. White caps forming. 13 knots of breeze. For all of you counting at home, every boat out here had started that race cleanly and will be rounding this top mark. In first place is Alan Terhune looking to make up those points on Zeke. Second around from New Jersey, Pat Curran and team with Janelle Zarkowski, his old coach, trimming for him. And third around, Corey Sertle. In about 10th place, which would mean Alan would have the, the lead again, is Zeke. Alan Terhune still in the lead, Pat Curran in second. One, two, three hasn't changed, but I wonder where Zeke is. Can't pass people by following them. Zeke takes the other gate around, sitting in seventh currently. This is tight. Hewn still in the lead. It's the best he can do, looking over his shoulder to see where Zeke might be in the place hunt. Bow 46, Bill Draheim on Voodoo Baby. Second around, Pat Curran in third. And look who is in fourth place. It's Zeke Horowitz. The U flag pokes the bear. Allen must have a five minute lead over the rest of the fleet, but it's really gonna all come down to a matter of points in the last race. And that'll give a second bullet to Allen, Terhune, and team. Voodoo Baby second across, and Zeke in third place, only two points given up on his lead. Last race will be five points spread. Bow 47 is our class president, Matt Dunbar, and he had some things to say about hosting Worlds in our home country. So the, the Worlds are always a rallying point. It, it really helps to rally the class, and it, it's, a, it's a point that you know, everybody gets excited about. And The boat is quite popular because it's a fairly simple boat, and probably more to the point, the class is very welcoming. Is the top sailors are very open about what they're doing, and people are happy to see each other off the water, and so it's just a very fun class to sail. So. Three minutes to go and already Alan and Zeke are match racing this start. Two protest flags out already on these two boats and they're just going back for more.
Only 20 seconds to go, and Allen and Zeke are a third row, still on port underneath the line, only worrying about each other. At go, oh, general recall. We're gonna have to try that one yet again. Hopefully the third time is the charm. The breeze has been going right steadily over these last few minutes. Six seconds left. That is another general recall. Look for the U flag next time around. Because of the time limit, this is race committee's last chance to get a race off and the black flag is up. Dancing with danger, Zeke and Allen are trying to push each other over. That was the gun and there is no individual recall or flag going up, but we will have to wait to see if anyone was over. The left hand side of the line was clear. So they are in this race and already an attacking duel in the back of the fleet. Allen tacks over onto port, but Zeke is not going to let any boats between them. Both Allen and Zeke are hung out here on the left, which is unfortunate because the breeze is going right. The current is once again ripping up here at the top mark, sending everyone doing short tacks to get to the top mark. Moment of truth here, Allen has decided he can't quite make it around the top mark, and that's gonna give bow 10, Matthew Thompson, the lead, tacking back onto port. This is, this is crazy. It is very, very ripping. Maybe if they hold this course, they can make the offset. Allen, second around. Coming in hot on port tack, about 28, trying to slide through there on port. Everyone is yelling starboard. And still first around the bottom mark is Matthew Thompson sitting in 11th place overall from Wayzata Yacht Club, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Course change from race committee. This breeze is all over the place, but in two, three, our two fleet regatta leaders. Another upwind leg and not much has changed except for Allen has taken the lead. Zeke is too close for comfort behind him. With only bow 10 between them, it's not gonna be enough points to take back the championship. Pending any protests, this is a victory lap for Zeke Horowitz and team. Alan Terhune and team has their protest flag out. That was Alan Terhune protesting Zeke Horowitz. So this championship will go to the room. A protest to determine the championship? It must have been something that happened at the start, maybe when they were match racing. Time will tell. We'll find out the award ceremony later today. Thank you so much to the Annapolis Yacht Club for hosting, for Sheehy Lexus of Annapolis for sponsoring, and for T2PTV, I'm Ashley Love.